So I have an SPSS data file open. This happens to be the Luther Alcohol Survey data that is located at the top of the Katie web page. To open this data file, you can go to the KD web page and simply click on the file and it will open in SPSS. What you see is that in SPSS, every question gets a column and every person is in a row. If you scroll across, what you find is that there are several columns of data meaning that there are several variables or several questions. If you scroll down, what you'll find is that there are many Luther students who responded to these questions. In fact, there are 219 students in this data set. Something that sometimes is useful is to look not only at the data view where the data are arranged in this column by row format in a typical spreadsheet fashion, but you can also click on this variable view tab and find every variable listed in this column. Next to the variable name, you'll find its type. These are all numeric variables. The width and decimal value just allows you to change the presentation of the data. Under the label column here, you'll find that you can expand this and you can read the, the actual label for each variable in this data set. Next to this is the values column, which is also very useful. If you click over here, even though it doesn't look like much, you click over here in the right side of this thing, you pop open a window that will tell you what those values mean. A one means male and a two means female in that first question, which is actually labeled Q2. If we go back to the data view, what you'll notice is that if you click this icon here, you can get those labeled values to show up in the data spreadsheet if you'd like. So you can toggle between these two different views if that's helpful. That's the SPSS data file.